Have you ever made a decision and wondered, what if I had chosen differently? What if there's another version of you, somewhere out there in a parallel universe, living out the path you didn't take? What if we could prove these other worlds exist? What if I told you that we're on the brink of technology capable of giving us that answer? Today, we're talking about Google's new quantum chip, codenamed Willow, and why it might just be the key to proving that the multiverse is real. In December 2024, Google unveiled its most advanced quantum chip yet, Willow. On behalf of our amazing team, I'm proud to announce Willow. This isn't just another step forward in computing. This is a leap into uncharted territory. Willow has performed computations so complex that they defy our understanding of reality itself. Willow solved a specific quantum problem in under five minutes. For context, this same task would take the world's fastest supercomputer longer than the age of the universe, over 10 septillion years. To many physicists, this achievement isn't just a milestone in computing. It's a potential glimpse into something far more profound, the existence of the multiverse. Quantum computation challenges us to think differently about the fabric of reality. It lends credence to the idea that we're interacting with parallel universes to solve these problems. So, what exactly is the multiverse? To put it simply, it's the idea that our universe is just one of many, potentially infinite, parallel universes existing simultaneously. Imagine every decision you've ever made. According to the multiverse theory, there's a universe where you chose differently, one where you didn't go to college, another where you became a world-famous musician, and yes, even one where you're watching this video in a completely different language. But how does science back this up? Let's explore three of the most popular multiverse theories, the inflationary multiverse, the many worlds interpretation, and string theory. Let's start with the first one. The inflationary multiverse comes from the theory of cosmic inflation. This theory suggests that in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. Here's the wild part. Some physicists believe this inflation didn't stop everywhere at once. Instead, it created countless bubble universes. Each bubble is its own universe with unique physical constants. We just happen to live in one of these bubbles. Then there's the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which might be the most mind-bending of all. It starts with quantum events, tiny random processes that happen at the atomic level. The many worlds interpretation suggests that every time a quantum event has multiple possible outcomes, the universe splits. In one universe, Schrodinger's cat lives. In another, it doesn't. Both outcomes are equally real, but exist in parallel. This means there are infinite versions of reality, with infinite versions of you, all playing out simultaneously. Lastly, we have string theory. This theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of the universe aren't particles, but tiny vibrating strings of energy. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, creating everything we see. In some versions of string theory, our universe is just one of many, floating in a higher dimensional space called the bulk. Think of our universe as a 3D bubble on a vast 4D ocean with other bubbles floating nearby. Right now, the multiverse is still a theory, but there are hints that it could be real. For example, some anomalies in the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, might be evidence of other universes colliding with ours. And then there's quantum computing. Machines like Google's Willow might be the key to unlocking the multiverse. So, how does a quantum computer like Willow connect to the multiverse? The answer lies in how quantum computers process information. Unlike classical computers, which use bits to represent zeros and ones, quantum computers use qubits. Qubits can exist in a state of superposition, meaning they can be zero, one, or both at the same time. This allows quantum computers to perform many calculations simultaneously. Some physicists believe that quantum computers achieve this by interacting with multiple parallel universes. Think of it like this. A quantum computer sends out its calculations into every possible universe, then collects the results in ours. It's an idea that fits perfectly with the many worlds interpretation. If the multiverse is real, it changes everything. For one, it means there's no such thing as what could have been, because every possibility exists somewhere. It also raises profound questions. Are we alone in the multiverse? Could we one day communicate with other universes? And how would that change how we live our lives? Of course, we're not there yet. Quantum computing is still in its early stages, 
and there are significant hurdles, like reducing error rates and scaling up the technology. But make no mistake, every breakthrough brings us closer to answering some of the biggest questions about reality. So, what do you think? Could Google's quantum chip Willow be the first step toward proving the multiverse? Or are we just scratching the surface of a much bigger mystery? One thing is certain, the universe, or should I say, the multiverse, is far more complex and fascinating than we ever imagined. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.